Hey, thanks for being here for another video. Today I got something different. Uh, we got a forensic case. I can't really show much um, labels on this case here. Let me uh, get you focus here. So this um, this case here is a dash cam that was inside of a car uh, in an accident. So it was found uh, sometimes later and it was found in pieces. I don't know why it's in pieces. That's already suspicious. So there's a micro SD card here that doesn't work apparently. So we're gonna uh, take it out and see what's wrong with it. Um, hopefully it's recoverable. Hope it's not cracked in half. I haven't even looked at it yet. So uh, I'm gonna crack it open. I'll have to be careful. I can't show too many. Um, I can't show the, the bag here because it has a case on it. Sorry about this crunching. Uh, so let's get a knife here and cut it open the top here where we're supposed to. Evidence bags are supposed to be open at the top. I'll learn this at a later date. So let's dump everything out. So let's lay it all down here and we're gonna take photos because that's how you're supposed to do this. So it's holy crap, what happened to this thing? Jeez. Um, so let's just take pictures quickly here. And um, as soon as I'm done with the photos, we're gonna get back to this case. Okay, we got the photos now, so uh, let's assess here what we got. So we're gonna put the camera aside. I don't need the camera. We just need the micro SD. And let's have a look at the microscope. I gotta turn the camera on for the microscope one second. Okay, I don't know why this is so scratched. Honestly, don't know. Let's see. Um Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, I wasn't told anything about this case, so I don't know why it's like this, but looks like someone was trying to get it out of here. Was it stuck in here? What the how did that even happen? Well, okay, anyways. So let's do a quick test on this. I'll be right back. Let me just test to see what happens. So the card doesn't show up whatsoever. So that means it's it's um it's too scratched or something's uh, cut on it. So um, we're gonna we're gonna get a fiberglass pan. We're gonna remove the back. I'm not gonna film this. I'm just gonna remove it now quickly and then I'll come back. I'll meet you back here when I'm done. So I got the back removed uh, using the fiberglass pan before someone asked this is a fiberglass pan. So the, the back was removed and we can see now there's uh, definitely damage on one of the lines here. Uh, and I checked with the multimeter and you can actually see that uh, uh, there's no continuity. So if you check this uh, right here, see there's no continuity. Uh, how about uh, this one? This one's okay. There's one more line that looks to be damaged, but this one's okay too. And how about this one? This one's good. Yeah, there's no other damage that I could see on this particular card. So I think uh, we just need to repair that one. Uh, the one line there, but I think um, the best uh, solution here is going to be soldering the card onto um, uh, one of these boards. Uh, so we're gonna so we're gonna mount it here, and then we're gonna run wires directly to SD protocol right here. So this way we can mount it without any issues. I mean, I could probably run wires onto the as micro SD itself, but um, I think it'll be safer just to run wires directly to the uh, SD and hopefully it's gonna work. Okay, so we got it mounted here. Uh, so let's wire this guy up. So let's get some flux on here. And we're gonna get some flux onto here. And also I'm gonna run the wire directly from here. So we're gonna go from pin one, which is right here. And then we're gonna this one, then we got this one. And this one we're gonna run the wire from the line here. This one's okay, this one's okay, this one's okay, this one's okay. So we're gonna get the solder here. That's way too much.
And we're done. <clears throat> we're done soldering this thing. You can see here, that's not the prettiest job, but who cares, as long as it works. Here's a simple fix. It's not always that simple. I was hoping uh, it's gonna be this simple because if, if we had to recover it another method, it would obviously take a lot longer. It wouldn't be in this video. So let's go test it now, see if it actually works, because it is soldered, it doesn't mean it's gonna work. So we're done now, we're, we're mounted on here, so let's, uh, let's go test it out. This might work or might not work, I don't know. Uh, I mean, there could be more damage to the card that I'm not seeing, but let's plug it in and see if it shows up. If it does show up, I'm not going to mount it. Obviously, it's a forensic case, so we're going to actually go straight into Gardonix and take an image there. But if it, I just want to test it on Linux to see if it actually even acknowledges the card is there, because if it's there, then that's good. Uh, if we can see a name and a size, then that's the first step. So then we can take it over there and then we can uh, recover the data, take an image, hash it, all that stuff. So let's plug it in and see. And we can see here the size showed up. We can see 16 gigabyte. Um, that's the card here. So no errors. So that's good. So good news. The card is working. Uh, we're going to take it over to Gardonix now and recover the data. Anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more videos like this and others. And I'll see you in the next video.